Good afternoon and welcome to our show. My name is John Baylor and it's my great pleasure to conduct this wonderful Lawrence Welk Orchestra. Aren't they terrific? You betcha. We're going to invite a couple of the guys down from the band right now to play a little Dixieland, which was Lawrence Welk's favorite style of music. On trumpet, Mr. Jay Diversa, Mr. Carl Hose on trombone, Archie Wheeler on clarinet, and Jim Murphy on tenor saxophone. How about a little muskrat ramble, guys? I want two, three, four. I would like to have you good people meet some of my good neighbors, the Lennon sisters. I've had the pleasure of hearing them sing out at my house, and I like them so much I decided to share the 
this wonderful singing with you this evening. We have Diane, 16, Peggy, 14, Hello. and Kathy, 12, Hello. and Janet, 9. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lennon sisters. Make them blue, sunny boy. 
1924, Paul Whiteman announced the concert at the Aeolian Hall in New York City with a new work by George Gershwin. When George read this in the paper, he had not written a note. He immediately put pen to paper, and the result was the great American classic, Rhapsody in Blue.
And now here's our tribute to Glenn Miller, the man in the orchestra that exemplified the very best of the American spirit and the big band sounds of the 1940s. Gentlemen, a one, two, three, ah! <laughs> so terrific, so proud of this group. You know, another great American composer, Irving Berlin, wrote a song called Let Yourself Go for the film Follow the Fleet. It's a great tap number, and here's Janet Lennon to get it started. And a one, two, three, four.
No longer sneaking, respectfully drinking like civilized ladies and men. No longer need remiss. A charming scene like this. In some secluded rendezvous over Lixie Avenue with someone sharing a delight, a chat, and this and that, and cocktails for two as we enjoy a cigarette to some exquisite chance on it. Two hands are turned so tightly meet beneath the serviette with cocktails for two. My head may go really, but my heart will be obedient with intoxicating kisses for the principal ingredient. Most every afternoon at five, we'll be so glad we're both alive. Then maybe fortune will complete the plan that all began with cocktails for two. <laughs> What a date. <laughs> of course, uh, that was the music of the late and great Mr. Spike Jones. You know, Lawrence Welk's favorite big band tune is Woody Herman's Woodchopper's Ball. And any time and every time he heard it, he just couldn't resist getting into the act. Actually, we're going to play it for you right now. I think you'll see what I mean. Gentlemen, and a one, two, three. Ah! Ah, 
uh, Jim Murphy on tenor saxophone. Yes, sir. <laughs> love to feature the orchestra with epic medleys of music by great composers. Here's our favorite music from the Richard Rogers Oscar Hammerstein celebrated Sound of Music.
Ladies and gentlemen, Joanne Castle. I wanna hear it again, yeah. The old piano roll blues. Now we're sitting at an upright, my sweetie and me. Pushing on the pedals, making sweet harmony. Ring and tick, blink and plank. We got a closer it seems. How about we kiss, kiss, kiss? Away all our cares. Play your piano, play it. a bit now. <laughs> oh, it gets harder all the time. <laughs> well, I guess you like that boogie woogie, huh? Yeah. You know, I started to play the piano when I was just seven years old. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I started out with classical music. And I studied classical music for many, many years. And actually, I started out first as a classical pianist. But on the Lawrence Welk show, all I played was fast music and never anything serious. 
Well, this afternoon, I'd like to show you my serious side. That was a dumb joke, sorry. <laughs> no, I would like to show you my serious side. You know, we're celebrating 100 years of music in this show. So I put together a medley of four songs from the movies, four themes, with just American composers. They are Max Steiner, Scott Joplin, Harry Warren, and Ernest Gold. And now I'm going to do the medley for you, and I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it for you. And let's see, how many of you out there can actually remember and recognize some of these songs? And let's see how many of you out there can actually name them. Don't have a senior moment on me. <laughs> and you can call your lifeline if you want. <laughs> John, please.
going to work on my dune buggy <laughs> right after my surfing lesson <laughs> tell you what if i can finish the song i'm writing now for the beatles i'll be there <laughs> i don't understand dune bugging surfing the beatles that's the lawrence wealth nobody knows <laughs> not even me <laughs> Your young heart lights up with the lilting tunes that you hear from your daddy's accordion, and you're often found dancing in the barn with what did you dance with, huh? <laughs> the fork. The pitchfork. <laughs> Boy, didn't you have an imaginary band there in the barn? Yes, I did. I well, what'd you play with? Well, I left the band practically all, all through my life, and I think I used to make a violin out of strings. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, didn't you uh, play tunes on Pitchfork and the Anvil, That's the Horseshoes, right. and the Rain Barrel? <laughs> See, we know all about you, boy. But I've gotten up early all my lifetime, and I still do. I get up around 4.35 or 5.30, right in that span. Four in the 4.30 in, in the morning? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. And uh, then I take a swim. <laughs> What, ha what happens at that time of day? I, I mean, what? There's no one around, so I take a swim. The good? I have a <laughs> no, but you have to keep active, I would guess, the first thing. Love what you're doing. That's the main thing, John. I really, if, if you love what you're doing, that's, that's right. the most important thing. It's great satisfaction to bring happiness, joy, laughter into people's lives. I wouldn't mind working practically all day uh, and all night for it. It's, it's all right there. But you, you have to love it and you have to keep in mind that you've got to please the people, the people that came to see him. If you don't please them, you're not going to make it. It's been a marvelous life. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I hear you. That is how I know you go on. Far across the distance and spaces between us, you have come to show you go on. Near, far, It lasts for a lifetime. It 
never lets go It goes on We hear you, we watch you These good times we hold to In our lifetime, they'll always go on Thank you. You've been a terrific audience. Thank you so much for being here. You mean a lot to us. And as Mr. Welk himself would say, keep a song in your heart. We'll see you out in the lobby. Good night, good night, and 
until we meet again. Adios, au revoir, I'll be to say till then. And though it's always sweet sorrow to part, you know. dreams to you. Here's a wish and a prayer that every dream